Who was the loved one who questioned this as a career choice the most? Uh, to be honest, every every one of them questioned it. Like I said, no Irish man had fought and won inside the octagon before. As far as my family were concerned, as far as my mother and father were concerned, I left what was a, a safety net of a trade as a plumber to pursue a, a career in fighting when no one had done it before me. So, so simply, they, they were just listening to what I was saying and I was just telling them, trust me, I will do it. I, I, by the time I told them, by the time I am 25 years of age, I will be a self-made millionaire through this game, and my father laughed in my face at that at that time. And it was, it was a friendly situation. But now I am 26 years of age, and I have achieved that uh, goal. So I might have been a year late, but I still got to look him in the face and say, "Hey, guess what? I love it. I love to say I told you so." Describe your most memorable bad day as a plumber. My God, my most memorable bad day as a plumber. I mean, I, it just was not a life for me. The whole, the whole experience was, was heavy, heavy work. You know, I'd wake up at like 5.30 in the morning. I'd walk about a half an hour, hike uphill, out onto a motorway. I'd stand out onto the motorway where there's cars ripping by full speed, and I'd have to wait for this country guy, a redneck you would call him, um, would pull in, and I'd, I'd have to bunk in the, the back of his car, and we drive two hours in the traffic all the way to the site and then you're on the cold building site and you're looking around with all these old people and their back is f***ed up and everyone's in a bad way. Um, it, it was just, and I'm getting, I'm the young kid so I'm getting ordered to do this and ordered to do that and uh, it just, it was just a, it was just a rough time for me and I knew that I did not want to pursue this life. This, why, why, why do this? Why work? to the grave, you know what I mean? This is not what life is meant to be. So I left and I quit and I went home and I told my father, I said, there's not a hope in hell you're gonna ever get me back on that building site again. And he essentially said, we'll see about that. And we had many, many fights where he tried to get me onto the, uh, back onto the building site. But I did not, although I may have lost the fights, the fights we had, but essentially I won because I did not go back to the building site. Were they actual fights? You're not talking about arguments. You're talking about no, actual no, no. fights. No, no, They were actual fights. You know, he, we, we, it, we, we threw down. <laughs> this is welcome to Ireland. This is the way it is. You know, you grow up, and we are, we are raised tough. But you never won any of the fights. Excuse me. You never won any of the fights, uh, other than the big fight of not having to go back there. Actually, actually, one I did. He came in, he bushed through the door and tried to come at me, but I was training a little bit at this time, so I double-legged him, and I ended up mounting him, and I had him in a vul vulnerable position. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I dominated that sequence. That was actually probably the last time we, we fought, so... Um, yeah, I, I, won, say, I, I don't won. think your dad fights you again after you've won one. It normally doesn't go for a rematch. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. I think the, the, the power shifted in my favor at that, at that moment, but it's, it's all fun and games to me. F f I enjoy fighting. Last time you were on with us, you hadn't quite partied a bunch with Dana White. You weren't willing to give us any details on that, but you've been with him a lot more lately. There's been some gambling. Give us a good Dana White story because he loves having a guy with your mouth and your talents in his stable. <laughs> Yeah, about what, what what gambling are you trying to talk about? There was no gambling. The only thing that happens when me and Dana get together is damn good business, and that is it. Like I said the last time, partying is weakness for the soul. My, Dana is a business partner. Lorenzo is a business partner. Anytime I'm in their company, it's to discuss big business. They struck gold with you, right? They struck gold with you because they needed a personality. Um... Business is booming. Business is good. I, I am happy to be here. I am happy to save the promotion. You know, I, I am the savior of this game. Nice seeing you again, Connor. Nice seeing you too again, sir. I couldn't understand you the last time, but I, the I am listening carefully now. The same thing will happen this time. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing will happen this time. All right, so. go ahead. Get in there. Get in there. What do you got for him? What do you got for him? Connor! What do you do for your girlfriend for Valentine's Day this year? What did I do this year or what will I do? No, what do, what, what do you do for your girlfriend for Valentine's Day this year? This oh, year. Oh, man, I don't, you keep asking me about this romantic side, and I'm trying to... <laughs> I, 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 must, I must prepare next time for a nice romantic story for you, and 
give you what you're looking for, but I actually have no clue. But thankfully, my girlfriend is in studio here. What did really? you do ah. on Valentine's Day this year? We're in Central Market. Look, this is nice. We're doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 I, I, I swear, next time, I promise next time, I'm going to have the best romantic story you've ever heard. No, you're not, not going to have anything. Story. You're not going to have anything. Last time you told us, I'd go in for the kill. That's I how know, you said, that's I'm how you useless. described your romantic I side. I got another one. When you guys get married, can I come to the wedding? Oh, no. Of course oh, you no. can. I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking that nice Miami be. beach right behind you. Ah, that's that looks right, nice that's back right. there. Connor, thank you for being on with us, sir. Thank you. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it.